Hello everyone, this is a small tutorial to show you how you can add a Raspberry Pi with a sensor connected to it to the evidence dashboard and then stream data from that sensor uh, back to the dashboard. So when you come to the landing page, this is a landing page of the evidence projects page and you can see a little map over here. If you go to list view and add a device like this, let's call it test device. And uh, you have to put the MAC ID of your Raspberry Pi over here. And if you have any trouble finding that out, you can go to your Raspberry Pi terminal and run ifconfig over there. Uh, I'll put a small screenshot of that in this video. But make sure to do one thing. If you're connected to Ethernet, use the ETH0 MAC ID. And if you're connected to Wi-Fi, use the WLAN0 MAC ID. Let's add some latitude and longitude and on a short description and your device is here you can see that on the map it is in some random place uh, so most importantly let's go to the device and you can see that it is disconnected and the MAC ID shows up over here for your reference now you are shown with these three commands you can run these three commands on your Raspberry Pi to install the evidence software on it. That will help you to connect to uh, the dashboard and stream data to the dashboard. So next, let's go to our Raspberry Pi and try to download the software over there. So now I've moved over to my Raspberry Pi. Uh, you can see the terminal over here. And let's run the first command from the dashboard. What this command does is it downloads the installer for the software. So let's run that. Yes, you can see the installer has been downloaded over setup.sh. Now let's run the installer. This will start updating your packages, uh, downloading requirements, and uh, downloading the software as well. So we'll give that a little bit of time. Now you're prompted to enter an email ID. You can find this email ID uh, on the dashboard. Also, this is also the email ID that you have registered uh, into the evidence with. So I'll enter mine. Come on. Yes, now you can see that the client is connected to uh, the server and it's ready to send the data. So now let's move on back to the dashboard uh, and see what's going on over there. Okay, back to the dashboard. Let's refresh this page. And your device is connected. Awesome. Now, every evidence software comes with a default script that can send some dummy data to the dashboard. So to switch that on, we can click on this toggle over here, stream data toggle. And you should see your software start streaming in the terminal. And moreover, you can see the graph over here, a random values are appearing over here. So this tells you that everything is working fine your Raspberry Pi has been connected to the dashboard. Now, the main point of this video is to send sensor data to the dashboard. To do that, we have to send a small file over here. I have written 
down a small file which picks up data from the sensor and sends it to the software. Now to send this file to your Raspberry Pi, you can click over here, choose file, click on the file and send. And if you go back to your Raspberry Pi again, you can see that the file is getting downloaded and it is downloaded now. So when I switch this on again, the new script that we just sent over to the to your Raspberry Pi will start streaming. And yep, barring that, this is the new data. And what we have over here is basically a proximity kind of sensor. So now I am closing in my coffee mug and see the distance has come down. Uh, if I move my coffee mug far behind, it should go up again. And it does. You can switch it off back from here. And so here it is guys, uh, easy three steps to get your device connected to the evidence dashboard. More details on the runner.py that I just sent and naming conventions will be linked down below. And hope you guys enjoy.